Hello everyone, thanks for coming back and watching me cook again on a video. Today I'm going to show you how I make my southern slaw. This recipe is for all phases of the fast metabolism diet plan. It's also very, very customizable so you can make it how you want to make it. You can add different vegetables, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to start with the dressing. In my pan I had some xylitol and some freshly minced garlic and now I'm adding vinegar. I got my xylitol hot so that's why it looks chunky like that but it should melt. And all I'm going to do for this dressing is to just simply bring this to a boil, let that garlic cook for just a little bit. I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Also make sure when you're cooking this and you're making this dressing that you're not standing in with your face directly over the pan because vinegar fumes are not fun when they're inhaled. And while that's coming up I want to also make sure that everyone is aware with xylitol, and I try to put this in most of my videos that have xylitol as an ingredient. Xylitol is actually deadly to dogs, so be careful when you're cooking with xylitol that you don't drop anything on the floor that your dogs can eat, even the tiniest amount. And by tiny, I'm talking the size of your pinky fingernail can kill a dog in very, very little time. Now, before you all freak out, and the first question that most people ask is, well then, if it's deadly to dogs, why can I eat it? Dogs and humans have very different metabolisms, and what happens when a dog consumes a product with xylitol in it, regardless of the amount, it causes their blood sugar to drop dangerously low, super, super fast. It doesn't do that in humans, okay? So you don't have to worry about you eating it. Just don't let your dog or your cat eat it because it can be really deadly. And this isn't something that you have, you know, you can not have to worry about and you can get them to the vet and get a shot or get their stomach pumped and it'll be fine. You're ta we're talking in most cases, depending on the size of the dog, the age of the dog, and how much they've consumed, you sometimes have less than 30 minutes to get them medical treatment. And the treatment is lengthy and it's expensive. So, if you're going to cook with xylitol, then you need to be extremely cautious. I have dogs, and we have one right now, and I'm very careful. She doesn't get much people food. She gets bread crust. That's about all she gets. Probably not the healthiest, but that's what, you know, her little treat once in a while is a little piece of bread crust. But we make double sure that whenever we're eating something with xylitol, nothing drops on the floor. If something does drop on the floor, I'm immediately cleaning it up and, and cleaning it thoroughly. And we're just really diligent about it. Now, if you don't want to use xylitol, you can certainly use stevia. You can use um, pure monk fruit. Although I've not tried those two sweeteners in this particular recipe, so I can't speak to how it works because xylitol is my preferred. If you're not on the fast metabolism diet plan, you can use coconut sugar for this. Or if you're in maintenance on the fast metabolism diet plan, you can use coconut sugar. And this is pretty much it for dressing. Now you can add other things into this if you want. You can put other spices in here. You can, um, if you put onions in your slaw, you can put your onions in here so that they kind of cook and pickle just a little bit. It gives them a slightly different flavor really good in the slaw. You can put onion powder in here. You can put spices in here. You can put hot peppers if you want. Whatever herbs that you think would taste good in your slaw, go ahead and throw them in here if you like. All right. Now, all we need to do is let that cool down, and then I'll show you how to assemble it. All right, here we have my veggies all cut up. If you were using this for phase two, you wouldn't have carrots. There are carrots in here. 
because I started out with a bag of pre-cut slaw from the store, which I do a lot for my creamy coleslaw or my Asian slaw. Um, if you were doing this for, for phase two of FMD, then you would want to just cut your own cabbage or find one that doesn't have carrots. I also cut up a red bell pepper and some celery and some onion and put in here. Um, other things that are really good in here for this for this slaw, especially for phase two, you can put jicama in here, and dice that up. You can put radishes are really good, either daikon or regular radishes. You can slice those or dice them up really well or julienne, however you wanna however you wanna cut them. You can put cucumbers in here if you'd like. This dressing is really good with cucumbers. So whatever vegetables that you like, you can put in here. And this is a great alternative for phase two that a lot of people find difficulty with because this dressing in this law is so flavorful. Now keep in mind this is a vinegar base so this isn't creamy. This is um, very tangy. That's why there's a lot of xylitol in here and that's why there's a lot of, of the vinegar. They're equal amounts so it's pretty pretty tangy so don't be surprised. I have a lot of people come back to me and tell me that this tastes like vinegar. Well yeah it tastes like vinegar. You can use coconut vinegar which is my favorite. Um, it's a little pricey, so I don't use it all the time. Today I'm just using apple cider vinegar. It's a little bit cheaper. You want to avoid white vinegar. Haley says not to use white vinegar for cooking, only to use it for cleaning because it's typically made from corn, and corn is not part of the plan. So, and so I'm just going to put this dressing on, get some of this pepper out of here, and I'll have a little more dressing than what I need. I make a little soupy so that I have plenty of juice in there. And I can keep it stirred up. And this will last for a couple days in the fridge. It's really good when it's super cold. Oh, this is so delicious. This is also really, really, really delicious with my Carolina barbecued pork. If you make the tomatoless barbecue sauce and put that on pork or chicken, it's really, really good with both of those. I love slaw and barbecue together. Look how pretty that salad looks. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then celery seed is the only is the last thing here. And just stir that in. And then give this a taste and and adjust your seasonings if you want more salt or if you want more pepper or if you want to add some heat with some red pepper flakes. You can totally customize this. But this slaw is super easy to make and super delicious. I hope you give it a try. I'll link the recipe down below so you can get the exact measurements. And I appreciate everyone watching my cooking videos and watching the foods that I make and watching how I do it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks everyone.